glass lamp. In this case, light first travels from air to glass and then back from glass to air. Emotion the light on the economic travel of the air nundi glass key, mali glass nundi air key. Okay. And hence, there are how many refraction we can observe here? Two refraction we can observe. Now you see, first in the first case, what happens? The light travels from rarer medium to denser medium, from air to glass. Why we call as air as a rarer medium? Yes. Uh, in that air medium, particles are very far from each other. So why the so that uh, we call as rarer medium? Why the glass lab be called as denser medium? Yeah, the particles are very close to each other. we called as denser medium. Then what happens when light travels from the rarer medium to denser medium? Very good. It bends towards the normal. So the same thing we have observed here. It bends towards the normal. Now you see this thick line you observe here? Yes. Thick line you observe here, thick line. The light, this is the incident ray, right? So now it is bending towards the normal like this. Okay? Are you observe this ray? Yes. Now you see, uh, after traveling the glass lab, after traveling the glass lab, what happens here? The ray of light travels from the glass to A. Malayamotundi, glass nunchi by the question. So when it is enters from the glass to A, now you observe this, the ray which is moving away from the normal. When light travels from denser medium to rarer medium, the light bends away from the normal. The same thing we can see here, like this. This is this ray we called as emergent ray. What is the ray it is? Emergent ray. The ray of light travels from the glass to air, hence it travels from the denser medium to rarer medium. Therefore, the second refractor ray bends away from the normal. Okay, the second refractor ray bends away from the normal. Now you see, combining the two refraction in the above case, the refraction of light through a glass slab can be represented as like this. Okay, now you see, let us assume. Our ray is passing uh, over the glass slab. It is not passing inside the glass slab. Then how it will go? It will go like this straight. Yes or no? Yes. Our light is passing over the glass slab. Glass slab time in chivel, the glass slab local in chivel. It is going uh, over the glass slab. Now it will move straight. It will move straight like this. When it is passing through the glass slab, now you see this is, uh, yeah. Now this is uh, deflecting towards here, right? And the displacement between the actual ray and this ray we called as lateral yes. displacement. Actual ray than virginal path means you mind the pakka ki jarigin the display sign. Okay, virginal path is like this. If ray is passing over the glass slab, it has to go like in this way. But the ray it is going towards this way means it is displaced this much, and this displacement we called as Lateral no, displacement. What is the name of that displacement? Lateral displacement. And the final state the glass the glass lab is the glass lab. And the glass lab is the glass lab. Lateral means side. Displacement means side. Uh, no. Side is the move. Right? Lateral means side. Displacement means movement. Okay, side is the movement. Right? So now you see. Now we extend the virginal incidence ray and bring it towards the emergent ray. We observe that the virginal incident ray and the emergent ray are parallel to each other. Now you see, this is the virginal ray and this is the emergent ray. And these look like sir, parallel rays are not? Yes. 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 parallel rays are not? Yes. And the incident ray and emergent ray. What is the parallel ray? Parallel ray. And this is the incident ray and this is the emergent ray both look like as parallel to each other the angle made by the emergent ray with the normal this is called as angle of emergence so this is we called as angle of emergence the emergent ray emergent ray and by the coach emergent means by the coach ray normal to end angle yes to the e and angle yes to so this angle we called as emergent ray and the perpendicular distance between the two rays is called as lateral distance. The distance between the virginal light 
and the displaced light. The distance between these are original light and it emergent ray. Original light ki emergent ray ki madhyalo una perpendicular distance ni. Yeh manali lateral displacement ani So good. Okay, is it clear everyone? Yes. And this is the refraction ray glass lab. Can you explain now? What happens here? In the first case, what happened? The light travels from the A to glass. Again, glass to air. Here, how many refractions you can observe? Two refractions. Two refractions. In the first case, what happens? When light, when ray travels from A to glass, it bends towards the Again, when it is coming from the glass lab to air, it bends, it moves away from the normal. Okay, when you observe this virginal uh, ray, and this emergent ray, both are looking parallel. Yeah. The distance between the emergent ray and the virginal ray, which is called as lateral displacement. Is it clear, everyone? Okay, now you know down. Conditions for no refraction. Refraction will not take place under the following two conditions. One, the light is incident normally on a boundary. Suppose, London could be boundary. Normal ray, okay, G and D. Normal ray, let us assume this is a normal ray which is 90 degrees to this plane. Uh, let us say this is the normal ray. When light falls like this, when light falls like this towards the normal, there is no refraction. What is the angle between this a blue color line and white color line? Let us assume this is a ray, sun ray. Let us assume. And this is a normal. Okay. What is the angle between the normal and the incident here? Zero. Okay, when you when this ray incident like this, there is no refraction and light goes to the glass lab in straight path. Have you observed any refraction? No. Means a ray of light traveling in medium one falls normally. Therefore, angle of incidence is equal to zero. In this case, now you see angle of incidence means sine i. I value is zero. Do you know the value of sine zero? zero. Sine zero value is zero. zero. Now you see uh, here we have the sine i by sine r. This is the Snell's law. According to Snell's law, sine i by sine r equal to n2 by n1. Okay. We need to find the refraction value. Refraction value for find out check them. So, in general, refraction double and a sine r equal to. So, this I can, I can write like this uh, sine n1, n2 by n1, you take it this side, sine r, you take it here, n1 by n2, n2 by n1 will become n1 by n2 into sine i. What is the value of sine i? Angle of incidence is there is no, uh, it means uh, there is no gap or, or incident lines. The angle between the incident lines or the angle between the coincident lines and the angle between the parallel lines. What is the angle? Zero. That is zero. zero degrees. What is the value of sine zero? Sine zero is zero only. Yes. What is the value of sine zero degrees? Zero. zero. Sine zero, zero. Then sine r will become? Sine r will become? Zero. 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 If sine r equal to zero, then what is our angle of refraction? Zero. 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 Is zero mean sine zero? Sine zero is? Zero. zero. Both side you remove sine sine, then angle of refraction is zero. zero degrees. So that what will it indicate? Thus, there is no deviation in the ray at that boundary, and no refraction occurs when light is incident normally on a boundary of two medium. Okay, let me give formula of the color and the other end. So just say over the good to get funny. A print a light uh, normal ray ki parallel ga in the then and the coincident time the normal ray to take. Agra this stage ga well to none good to get funny. Agra refraction would a aim on the refraction would a zero degrees angle on the and incident would a zero degrees on the other. You can make trigonometry tell you again tell you again. Trigonometry low sine zero value zero. Okay. Sin zero value zero. Mm -hmm. It is Snell's law. Sin i by sin r equal to refractive index of uh, medium uh, two with respect to two one. N two by n one. So this we can write as uh, sin r equal to n one by n two into sin i. Sin i value is angle of incidence is how much here? Zero, zero degree. Sin zero value is zero. zero. Something zero into something is zero, zero only, right? Sin r equal to zero. This zero uh, can I write sin zero? And then a zero ni sin zero right? Sin zero equal to zero. zero. So sin r equal to sin zero. Both side you take uh, remove the signs. Then angle of 
uh, angle of refraction equal to zero, zero degree. So that indicates that there is no deviation in the ray at the boundary, hence no refraction occurs when light is incident normally on a boundary of two medium. Is it clear up here, everyone? Right. That second case, second case here we have when the refractive indices of two media are equal. Suppose if light is passing through the medium and both both mediums are having the same refractive index. Right? If you put a same refractive index in the corner, our light bend out in the light emo that is straight to pass out. And they, Rendit yoka refractive index same unne. and n1 value, n2 value, n2 kuda same unne. Apu do sin i by sin r equal to n2 by n1, n2 same value by same value, m othadi 1 othadi. Apu sin i equal to m othadi sin r, and sin sin cancel i te angle of i equal to m othadi angle. Here n2 equal i nai ante akar bending lay than yasa. Rendit equal ga unne angles, bending unda akara lay. So there is no bending, hence no refraction occurs at the boundary that separates two media of equal refractive indexes. Two cases good to bet on. Yapudu refraction unda. Okay, light and the normal ga padi napu. Normal ga perpendicular ga padi napu. Medium pa na. Adi aye the medium glass medium unda napu. Jan pa na perpendicular ga padi napu. Ilaga perpendicular glass medium ki perpendicular ga ray pa napu. Apudu state ga nai alta. In the same way, the two mediums and the two mediums are the same refractive index. The light is also bent. The state is also bent. Okay? Now you know down this. Now you know down this. Okay? Draw these diagrams. Here n1 is equal to n. N1 is equal to n and n2 is also equal to n. Both are having the same refractive index. There is no bending of the light. It will go straight like this. A ray of light traveling in air enters obliquely into water. Obliquely means obliquely means less than ninety, more than zero. Does the light ray bends towards the normal or away from the normal? Japani air nuchi water lo ke elton jere. Mari. लाइट एट वाइप बेंड होता है दी नॉर्मल वाइप बेंड होता है नॉर्मल की दूर अंगा बेंड होता है नॉर्मल टूवर्ड्स द द लाइट बेंड्स टूवर्ड्स द नॉर्मल व्हाट इज़ द रीज़न द रीज़न इज़ द वाटर इज़ डेंसर मीडियम एयर इज़ रेयरर मीडियम लाइट एंटर्स फ्रॉम रेयरर मीडियम तू डेंसर मीडि� Light enters from A to glass having refract index 1.5. What is the speed of light in the glass? The speed of light in the vacuum they given here 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second. Okay, so light enters from A to glass, air to glass, and which is having the refractive index how much? 1.5. Then speed of the light in the glass you have to find out. Okay, then speed of the light in the vacuum they given. We have a formula, refractive index of the medium equal to, what is the formula we have? Refractive index of the medium equal to, don't write anything, just listen, listen first. Refractive index of the medium equal to, speed of light in vacuum by, speed of light in medium. Speed of light in, what is that? Speed of light in, yeah, speed of light in vacuum by, Speed of light is medium. Speed of light is medium. Medium. Here medium is, what is the medium we have here? Glass. I am writing here glass. Okay, this is the formula. By using this formula, you have to find the speed of the light in glass. So, this I am writing C by B glass. So, what are the given things we have here? Okay, sorry, given rask only, given rask and the one mark on the day. Okay, so given here we have your uh, light enters from A to glass, the refractive index of the medium given here how much? 1.50 and the speed of light in the vacuum they given 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second. We need to find the speed of light in the glass. Okay, and just uh, draw, write the formula and calculate and fi find the answer refractive index of the medium here they given 1.5 right 1.5 which is equal to
speed of the light they given 3 into 10 power 8 and velocity of the glass bg so this we can write like this also i am writing here velocity of the glass equal to 3 into 10 power 8 by 1.5 1.5 so this we can write 3 how many times it is 0.5 times okay so 10 power 8 by 0.5 we can write as 5 into 10 power minus 1 okay so what is the 1 by 5 indicates 1 by 5 is how much it is okay 1 by 5 into 10 to the power of 8 plus 1 in the other one 1 by 5 into 10 power 9 1 by 5 is nothing but that is 0.2 okay 1 by 5 is 0.2 less than to go punch it down इन दो टेन पवर एट ये टेन पवर नाइन नहीं टेन पवर एट इकट इच्छे से और का टेन इकट इच्छे था ओके तो अब रेम होता थी टू इनटू टेन टू द पावर ऑफ एट मीटर पर सेकेंड वेलास स्पीड ऑफ लाइट इन द ग्लास मीडियम इक्वल टू हाउ मच यर टू इनटू टेन टू द पावर ऑफ एट मीटर पर सेकेंड ओके देन मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्� Find out from table 10.3 from your textbook. The medium having highest optical density also find the medium with the low optical density. Optical density is related with the refractive index. Okay, if refractive index is more, optical density value also more. If refractive uh, index is less, optical density also less. less. The bending capability of the medium also we call as optical density. Okay. So, if refractive index is more means it has more bending capability. That is, ray and the echo bend of the refractive index echo on the a value echo on the bending of light could a echo on the okay. So, air your car refractive index, diamond your car refractive index, so that air your car refractive index is one on the diamond your car refractive index 2.42 on the so for the gain optical density echo on the car diamond then get a co on the that's all you write down.